What you guys got another tech news update video for you. More Microsoft users switch to Windows 11. As you can see, a staggering change in the stats counter for Windows 11 and Windows 10. Like I told you in my videos many times, this will happen near the end of life of Windows 10. You will see a major shift in uh, you know, people upgrading to Windows 11 or going out and buying a new computer with Windows 11 on it. You can see the major change right here. And that's a staggering 4% drop on Windows 10 users in a month. After holding out for many years, people are just forced to basically upgrade to Windows 11 if they can. And this is just a normal uh, practice for people. They will hold on for as long as possible. And you can see this trajectory right here. It's starting to climb. And eventually it will surpass Windows 10. Windows 11 will surpass Windows 10. People will not hold on after the end of life like they say they will. And it will just change. And you would see a change in the guard. Windows 11 will then become the most popular. And Windows 10 will fizzle out. Now for all those Linux users that were hoping that you're going to get a large influx of users jumping ship to Linux off of Windows 10, unfortunately, as you can see here, that's not the case. It's actually going down. And this is a common thing with Linux. It will go up and down on a regular basis. It was over 4% and it's actually gone down to 3.99. It actually dropped to 3.8% in some places here but you can see it was over four percent here and now it's dropped under four percent and this is pretty normal because people try linux all the time and they just don't get on with it and they end up going back to what they know best which is windows and that's why windows is so popular because no matter what you say linux users will always have one foot in windows a lot of them will even install uh, windows in a virtual machine inside linux and that just tells me that linux is just not the finished article for them they just can't do it and this is why it has such a low user base but unfortunately they probably thought that there was going to be a lot of people jumping onto linux from windows 10 and it hasn't happened yet it's not to say that it won't but it just hasn't happened just yet but anyway let's talk about windows 10 so what is the real big deal well for a lot of people that are hanging on to the bitter end, eventually what will happen is they will be forced to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, you might get a few hardcore users that will hang on and use Windows 10 uh, without security updates and continue to use it like some people do. And unfortunately, that's a really stupid thing to do because without Microsoft support for Windows 10, you're not going to receive any security updates or patches for that operating system and like i've told you before there's no antivirus program that is going to protect you uh, and patch up those holes so the longer it goes the more holes that will be not patched and this will make it more holier than swiss cheese so it's not going to be a safe operating system to use as you go on in time so what will happen on October 14th, 2025. Let's quickly touch on that again, just for the new users that might be new to this channel. Basically, on October 14th, 2025, Microsoft will pull the plug for support on Windows 10. That just means that they are not going to provide any more free updates or any technical support for Windows 10. There will be no security fixes for Windows 10. That is it. So that is what's going to happen on October 14th, 2025. There's a free upgrade to Windows 11. Microsoft is still offering a free upgrade to Windows 11 for eligible Windows 10 PCs until the end of the support date of Windows 10, which is October 14th, 2025. So if you haven't updated by then, you might lose the opportunity to get a free upgrade to Windows 11. There was an extended security updates program which Microsoft are rolling out, which is ESU for short, for those who choose not to upgrade to Windows 11 and they want to stay on Windows 10. They are offering an extended security update and this will provide security updates for a limited time only, one year. No one knows whether they're going to extend it any longer after one year, but it will be $30 and you will have to pay uh, for home users will have to pay $30 for an extended one-year support. 
I don't believe they are going to extend any longer than that, but knowing Microsoft, they may do if it's lucrative enough, but it won't be $30 for the second year. It will probably double uh, on the next year. So that's what they normally do. But we'll have to wait and see for that because home users, this is unprecedented. They haven't done this before for home users. It's normally done for business users only. So we'll have to wait and see whether they extend it for more than a year who knows what Microsoft are going to do. So what does that mean for people that don't have a supported computer? Well, you can check the stats here on your PC. You can go to the system requirements. If your PC doesn't meet the system requirements, unfortunately, that just means that your computer is not eligible for Windows 11, according to Microsoft. That's just the strict, stringent uh, system requirements that Microsoft have put in place. So for you, it's going to be a case of either paying an extra $30 for extended support for one more year, or you can install another operating system like Linux and use that operating system and try to get used to a different operating system. Now, Linux is good enough for people that are light users that are just going to be browsing the web, watching YouTube, emails, and things like that. If you haven't uh, used Linux before, I'm pretty sure that you'll get used to it. I've made videos on this topic before. Linux Mint, Zorin OS, you know, Pop OS, any of these particular types of operating systems will be perfectly fine for beginners. So what is the reason for upgrading from Windows 10? Well, users will be encouraged to upgrade to Windows 11 uh, to avoid any sort of issues or any security vulnerabilities if they're staying on Windows 10. And of course, you're going to get technical support uh, as well from Microsoft. If there's any issues with product keys or anything like that, you can contact them. If you've got Windows 10 and it's end of support, they are not going to help you at all with a, a, an end of life operating system. Now, word of warning to people that do have a Windows 10 computer, which is eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11. Be careful because you're going to start probably be getting nag boxes popping up to try and force you to upgrade to windows 11 and there might even be some dirty tactics there from microsoft where one day it will just update in the background and you'll be forced to roll out an update to windows 11 without your consent and this can probably happen as well and i've seen it happen before where updates have happened in the background They've rebooted their PC, and next thing you know, they're on a different operating system. So be very careful, especially on an end-of-life operating system that is coming to the end. Microsoft will start ramping up the advertisement for Windows 11 and nag boxes popping up on the screen and things like that, and you could click on the wrong thing, and next thing you know, you're going to roll out an upgrade to Windows 11. So be careful. Anyway, that is about it for this video. I just wanted to bring this to your attention that Windows 10 is actually on the slide and Windows 11 is on the climb, which a lot of people didn't see coming. They thought Windows 10 would be there to the bitter end. But like always, people will always upgrade to the next operating system anyway, even if they don't want to. With that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Hope you have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.